I was in the middle of vlogging. I had to go work for two hours. Um, Y'all, I put myself on payroll. By faith, okay? When you writing a bitch and you making a plane, plus God is telling you to do something, just do what he's telling you to do. And i like, okay, Crystal, I'm preparing you, is what he's saying to me. Girl, get it together, okay? So, yeah, I set up my payroll, finished setting it up today, actually started the process last week. So, I'm just going to document this journey right now. Like, I feel like I'm on a... Um, like a recovery, healing, mastermind retreat with God. And at first I came in kicking and screaming, but now I'm just like, Lord, you are obviously doing something in my life right now. Let me prepare, okay? Let me just listen to what you're telling me to do. And so what I do, I have like this calendar. He's definitely been working on me with my time. And I'm just writing out tasks because what I realized is I've been making it more difficult than I really needed it to be. And one thing, one scripture I read was in Galatians, it's chapter five. And it's, it's the chapter that talks about the fruits of the spirit. But it's also before then he talks about like how we should not operate by our flesh. And I was reading that. And one of the things say selfish ambitions. And I realized there are a lot of just pride Listen, a lot of things that God's telling me to do, and I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not doing it because I got my own way. I want to do it. And I would consider that to be selfish ambitions. And so that's how I find myself going around and around and around the circle, not seeing the fruit of things. Or I may see a little bit of fruit, taste a little bit of fruit of like me being obedient to God. And then somehow just boot myself right on out the will of God. And I just I'm like. Crystal, girl, get yourself together. Like you taste and see that the Lord is good. And then once you taste from him actually having you live in the ability, like living in your abilities that he's given you to create. Well, watching him bless the works of your hands, like the work that you're doing. You want to get prideful. You want to go live by the flesh and live in your emotions and your feelings and get outside of what he said. Y'all, there has been so many times that I have had a taste of my obedience, the fruit of my obedience. Meeting people, rooms with people, just the favor, like, and how easy it came to me because I was doing what he was telling me to do. And I was like flowing in it, like working in it. And then life, the pride of life comes along and I just boost myself, boot, boot myself right on out, get in my feelings, allow people to come, opinions of man, all kind of stuff. Y'all, it's in the Bible. Like the Lord tells us exactly what's going to happen to us if we don't stay in his will, right? What's crazy is I've been learning about priesthood and that's a whole nother story. But I'm like, Lord, I don't have time to not be living in priesthood. Okay, like I don't want nothing else, nothing else. 